a Merry Christmas. Back in 2015, Cotswold Archaeology's consultancy team in Milton Keynes were involved in a project for the conversion and alteration of a Grade II star-listed building on West Street in Buckingham. We needed to understand the, the phase development and significance of the building to ensure that the proposed works do not result in harm. An inspection and recording of all floors of the building was undertaken to look for building fabric, fixtures and fittings, which would help us provide an understanding for different periods of construction. This information was compiled to produce face floor plans. As you can see on the plan, the turquoise highlighting shows that the earliest part of the building consists of a, of a single pile or single depth stone built house. This building was constructed parallel to West Street and was built in the 16th century. The 16th century building would have been heated by a central chimney stack and this would have served both of the front rooms. When interpreting the fabric of the building, we noticed a possible lobby to the north of the central chimney stack. This may have formed a lobby entry into the building from the street. If this were the case, then the building forms an early example of this type of building plan. A full height wing positioned centrally to the front range may have housed a staircase and this is likely to be contemporary with a 16th century single power building. The structure is stone built to the ground floor and first floor and is timber framed to the second floor. The plan of the building, which tapers to form two plots, may indicate that the building was built on two adjacent plots which were later unified into a single plot. However, more investigative works are required to confirm whether the building contains any remnants of two distinct or separate buildings. The elevation of the building, which faces onto West Street, obscures the 16th century core of the building. The appearance of this elevation shows that the earlier building was refronted in the early to mid 18th century, probably in brick and covered in render. The shop fronts to the ground floor date to the late 19th century and have been altered or repaired in the late 20th century. Back inside the building, evidence was recorded to suggest that the refronting of the West Street elevation in the early to mid 18th century was part of a major overhaul of the building, which suggests that the building was under one ownership or major tenancy. There were several other alterations identified which appear to relate to this phase of works including the construction of a western rear wing. The extent of alteration undertaken in the 18th century is considerable and can be seen here on the floor plan highlighted in two shades of light green. The second floor of the building is of real interest. The second floor was originally a garret, a habitable attic or living space at the top of the house, often with sloping ceilings. The second floor was lit by four dormer windows positioned on the street side of the roof. The early sloping roofs of the garret have been replaced by a continuous flat roof and linked so that from the outside on West Street, the building appears to have a full second floor. The Historic England listing description for the building interprets the plaster barrel vaulted ceilings of the second floor of the building as belonging to an Elizabethan long gallery and this was divided by later partitions and interrupted by an early 18th century or possibly 17th century chimney stack. However, and excitingly, repair works to the building revealed wall paintings to the second floor, which were set within the plaster moulded ceiling. These provided further evidence on the historic form of the building. The wall paintings extend inside the dormer windows indicating that the dormers extended to the frontage and were not set back. The truncation of the plaster mouldings seen here within the dormer may indicate that the dormers originally had hipped roofs. The presence of the wall paintings on the central chimney stack means that the chimney stack must predate the wall paintings and therefore the second floor would never have extended as one open space. The western room of the second floor is also plaster barrel vaulted, but there are currently no traces of any historic wall paintings, though these could still remain hidden under the modern paint finishes. This building in Buckingham is a great example of where building archaeology and investigation can reveal a really interesting building with a complex history, hidden behind what appears to be a typical and straightforward facade. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.